10 jailbreak features in iOS 7. First up. Now it's been installed. Now look at the clock. See any differences? Live clock. Now, of course, we have live clock on our iOS 7 device. It just works right there on the fly. There's nothing to set up, nothing to configure. It just starts working. So that is number one, live clock functionality in iOS 7. What do we have next? Well, let's check it out. Just invoke the tweak using your activator action, double press on the home button in my case, swipe over, tap the app you want to switch to, and just like that. As you can see, the iOS 7 multitasking functionality is very similar to a jailbreak tweak called Dash that allowed you to have a full screen app preview. Dash isn't the only one. There are various other tweaks that this has obviously taken cues from, or maybe it's just a coincidence. For instance, also how you can just swipe up and dismiss uh, various apps. Orbit comes to mind. Various other jailbreak tweaks come to mind as well. All the jailbreak tweaks are starting to be optimized for iOS 5. As you can see here, that is SB settings in the flesh. Now, this is the obvious one, SB settings. Obviously, this had to have come in iOS eventually, and we're glad it's finally here. Quick toggles, to be able to toggle on various settings like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, airplane mode, do not disturb, your uh, rotation lock, have all your music controls there, easily access airplay controls, um, and there's additional functionality here as well. You can quickly change your brightness, and this is, of course, the new control center found in iOS 7. You can even page, swipe pages within the folder. So if I want to take this folder, hide it on another page within that folder, I can do that as well. That was Folder Enhancer, but there are other jailbreak tweaks that allow you to do similar things. Here, I am running Live Paper. It is a jailbreak app that allows you to have animated wallpaper. That was Live Papers. That's a jailbreak tweak that you can download from Cydia. If you go into the Settings app in iOS 7, go to Brightness and Wallpaper, go to Choose Wallpaper, you should see the new Dynamic Wallpaper option. There are actually two Dynamic Wallpapers included with iOS 7 and uh, this allows you to have a sort of an animated wallpaper. Actually, if you move your device around, you get more of an animation effect there as well. So a very nice uh, feature found in iOS 7. And then last but not least, we have Tab Plus. One of the things that's always irked me about Safari on a stock device is that you could only open eight tabs at once. Well, obviously the team behind iOS 7 realized this was a huge limitation and they have now eliminated that arbitrary eight tab barrier and now you can open up as many tabs as you pro possibly could want um i have just been opening tabs all day long and it seems like there's no end in sight i don't know if there's an actual limit but if there is it's pretty high as you can see here but this one it's much faster. It is called Fast Blur Notification Center, and you can tell that blurred effect on Notification Center, well, yes, indeed, it has made its way to iOS 7, as you see here. There, that is the blurred Notification Center. It looks really good when it's over some color on your uh, home screen, for instance. You see how the icons are kind of blurred out in the background. You can still faintly see them. Uh, it just It's just a nice effect. It uh, adds some character to the Notification Center. It doesn't look so bland as it used to look. What's up guys, it's Jeff with iDownload Blog. Let's talk about Bulletin. It is a jailbreak tweak that allows you to do this. Access your notification center right from your lock screen. Yes, indeed. In iOS 7, you can access notification center directly from your lock screen. And this functionality can be disabled if you're worried about privacy or security. As you can see, all you do is swipe from the left to the right to get back to where you were. Yes, indeedy, in iOS 7, you have the ability to, yes, use swipe back functionality, at least in some apps, for instance, like the Mail app, if you're reading an email, you can swipe back to get back to your inbox. I'm a huge fan of Google Chrome, mainly because of the Omni bar. You know, the little search bar at the top that allows you to do searches and web queries from the same bar. You don't need two. Well, now you can do the same thing in mobile Safari, courtesy of a jailbreak tweak called Safari Unibar. One of the most frustrating things about using mobile Safari on iOS 6 and below is the fact that the search bar and the address bar are both separated. So if you wanted to search, you had to use the search bar. If you wanted to go to an address, you had to use the separate address bar. That is no more. In iOS 7, you have a unified bar, just like in Google Chrome. You can perform all your searches and all your browsing directly using one search bar. It's excellent. So those are 10 jailbreak features found in iOS 7. I'm, I'm sure there are tons more, but these are the 10 that stood out to me. What do you guys think? Let me know what you think in the comment section below. This is Jeff.
with iDownloadBlog.